Uh, some of the festivities before the game uh, it was so nice. Mayor Cranley gave the key to the city to Marty Brenneman. That's Luke Brenneman catching Dylan Veneris, two of Marty's grandkids uh, out there. And a big hug from the big boss, Bob Castellini. Today, a 46-year journey comes to an end for, in my opinion, the best baseball announcer the game has ever heard. So for the final time, with all the play-by-play -play of Cincinnati Reds baseball, here's Marty Brenneman. Thank you very much, Ed. I really, I cannot begin to tell you how much I appreciate the words. It's been a very emotional day for me, and uh, I'm sure it's going to be that way throughout the entire afternoon. Luis Castillo capping off a big, big season today, and it would be awfully nice, at least from our perspective, to see him walk away from here with his 16th victory of the season. And a great changeup thrown to Grandal, and he is out on strikes the first of the afternoon for Luis Castillo, and will go to work now on the second baseman, Keston Hira, with two outs. And it's swung on, hit up the middle, deflected by Castillo. To second baseman Peraza, he throws him out. So the Brewers are up and down in order. And yeah, we'll see what Chase Anderson can come up with against these Cincinnati Reds. Now Joey Votto, 0 for 3 last night. The 2-2 right down the middle, strike three called. So Votto's gone, and in his place comes the right fielder Aristides Aquino with two out. Here is a high, deep drive down the left field line. If it's fair, it's good, and it is, and it is. Wow. High towering drive that made it into the second deck and left field. Aristides Aquino with home run number 18 on the year. All of them, by the way, coming since August the 1st. And the Reds have taken a 1 nothing lead off of Anderson and the Brewers in the first inning. So one away here is Spangenberg. And that'll take care of Spangenberg and for Castillo his second strikeout and Travis Shaw will be the hitter swing and a miss Castillo six up six down his fan three of them. Yes Monte Grandal to lead things off here in the fourth. He is now the first baseman for the Brewers this afternoon after Eric Thames exit. He has a hamstring problem in both legs and Grandal draws the walk. So here is Keston Hira back to back walks two on with nobody out instead of Eric Thames it's going to be Manny Pena to bat. There's strike three call he painted the inside black. So three walks in the inning for Castillo and he has walked the bases loaded with two outs for Orlando Arcia. So a big opportunity here for the Brewers and Arcia in the left center field they had him squeezed in the gaps and he cannot make the play. Van Meter has it pop in and out of his glove. Grandall and Spangenberg are in now Shaw scores three runs are in for the Brewers as Arcia is standing at second base it is 3 1 Milwaukee here's Gamble line drive down the left field line divings Van Meter it's going to get past him and into the corner Arcia is around third he will score Gamble's going to stop at second with an RBI double and the Brewers have struck for four here in the top of the fourth. Tucker Barnhart looks on as the crowd is saluting Marty Brenneman his final game behind the mic and a loud cheer an emotional day for Marty in which he said today would be the hardest day of his life and we're right in the middle of it right now. And here come the Brewers again already with a three run lead and they've got runners at first and second with only one out. Pena turns one around a base hit down the left field line Grandal's going to score easily Hero on his way around third he's going to try to score here comes the relay and here a, a belly flop he is out Brewers do get one run though it's 5 1 crew one out runner at third and here's Kyle Farmer and Guerra sets and deals and it's swung on and looped in the left for a base hit Run will score. It's five to two. Grisham grounds to first, two out, and here's Grandall. Like I said before, and I'll say it again. I'm sure I'll say it down the field when I'm down there with the fans. I, they they don't owe me anything. I'm the one that owes everything. I, I owe these people so much because of willingly taking me in and opening their arms to me after Al Michaels left at following 73 and me coming in here in 74 and Never dreaming it'd be 46 years later, and I'm wrapping it up today. Fly ball to left, and Garzman has ended the inning, and I'll try to compose myself when we come back. Jose Iglesias, one for three. Here's a pitch. That's a line drive to right. That's a hit. That ball goes toward the wall, cut off just short of it. That's back-to-back -back doubles by the Reds here in the eighth, and all of a sudden, it's a five-to-three game. Left-hander Josh 
Hader will indeed come out of the Brewer bullpen. So now the Reds are a base hit away from tying this game up. The 1-1 one -one pitch is on the way to Jose Peraza, and that one has popped up. Fly ball into shallow right center field and caught at the last moment by the right fielder Taylor, and that ends the inning. Final three outs to be played at Great American Ballpark, and the Reds need two runs to get even. He pitches, and Votto strikes out swinging. And now Aquino, and he swings and hits a very high pop-up off of third. The shortstop calling and makes a catch. And just like that, the Reds are down to their final out. Alex Blandino is going to come off the bench and pinch it. Here's the 0-2, and he went around. That's a strikeout, and that's your ball game. This has been an almost a real day for me today, and I'm proud to say that I'll be here until the day that they pass muster on me for the final time. Uh, I'm proud to say I'm a Cincinnatian, and for those who are here today and for those who are listening wherever they might be, uh, just know how much you're loved. And, and how much you're appreciated. That's all I got.